Fighting out of Ghana, he is nicknamed the Time Bomb. Which is yeah, both hands very fun to watch. And when coming in and talking to him, he's young, but it's all about the mindset. He feels that his mindset's one of the strongest in the division, but and at only 22 years old, he's got a ton of potential. Says his dream is to become the first Ghanaian champion in glory. Fighting tonight out of Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Michael, the Time Bomb, Bo-Pea. First time I heard I was gonna fight for glory, it was like, I was emotional, you know, happy. Oh, yeah. oh nice uppercut, and a second one! At that fight, I put myself on the map a little bit. Wow, how impressed are you by this Ghanaian Joe? Oh man, 22 years old for forgetting his age as well. Oh, big right hand, and now it's code red time oh, for hey. Kruger, who eats another uppercut. I show the fans, I show the people that I'm here to stay. Well, he's too oh, and down goes Kruger with a high kick. This was one of the best debuts I have ever seen. Give me your thoughts. I had a big mouth. Listen, I have no time to waste. I want number one contender. I gained a lot of experience. Michael Bopea! I'm enjoying the journey, yeah. In the Netherlands, they say the last loaches. So, uh, yeah, I have like two, three hard trainings this week left, and then uh, it's done. So, today's a running day. I have nobody with me. So as everybody knows, a lonely sport sometimes. So, yeah, today I have to motivate myself. For my part, I will lay in my bed, rest, chill. Choose which time I want to train, but it's a uh, part of being, uh, you know, professional fighter. You know, I know, I know for sure my opponent is sleeping or not training so hard as I am. So this gives me the extra motivation. I'm here alone, <laughs> you know. So I have enough mo motivation for these guys. Yeah. <laughs> I think the most important thing in, the, in these two years, you know, I gained a lot of experience, what I really needed to stay at the top. And I think that's the most important what I uh, yeah, gained in two years. I know they don't say hard, as hard as me. So this only gives me more motivation, more power, more strength, you know? And uh, I can't wait, man. I can't wait to show everybody what I have in me again. Fuck rules, man. Oh, yo, yo. Joe, this guy is on a rocket ship if we judge him by his last performance. He looked amazing. You know, I have great, great losses. And it, it's out on his feet. It's down goes for Pam. And also great wins, you know? Oh, he ate that right hand. What a performance. Congratulations to this 22-year-old future star. I always know I had it in me, you know. I always know I was that good, you know, but uh, I only needed to show it. Oh, big high kick. It's nice and even shorter than two years that I can call myself one of the best middleweight fighters of the world. My I believed in myself when nobody believed in me. Uh, one thing I always told myself, you're gonna die in the ring. Six kicks in this fight, right? Ooh, and another one. You're gonna die in the ring, you're not gonna bitch about it, you just have to keep on going. And that's one thing I always, I have a promise with myself if I step in that ring. And right number seven in the Glory World Rankings, it's... Urik Bukimi. Yeah. A couple of years ago, a couple of years ago, I was like maybe 14, 15, and I look up to that guy. I think so. He's a good middleweight fighter. I hope one day I can fight with him. Protect yourself, brother, okay? 
Okay, touch gloves. Now I already fought with him and now I'm gonna fight with him again. So it's crazy how this journey, you know, how this journey started and now I'm facing people I look up to. But that's a nice angle. That's how you split the guard to get an uppercut. To make it simple, I just knocked his teeth out. This is one of my favorite ranges to watch kickboxing in. This is what we call head to head or close range. Something happened. I thought, what was happening here? You know, how can I knock somebody's teeth out? I give him a lot of uh, good uppercuts, and everybody knows my uppercuts are strong. And uh, yeah, his teeth fell out, and <laughs> that video is going viral since that day, you know? Oh my! Yeah, that's what I'm saying, some teeth fell out. There they are! I think I was expecting even more hungry Bukimi, you know? So I know he has a lot of motivation, a lot of anger in him, and uh, I have to be sharp that day, because I know he wants to, like, destroy me. So uh, I know it's gonna be a great fight. Two hungry, big African guys who are gonna, you know, battle. The battle of the Africans, we can call it, yeah. Ole! 